again, peeps. Welcome back to another Redstone video on the R server. As you can see, I have this beautiful new plot floor. I've kind of gotten rid of a bit of it, though, just for the demonstration, because it's kind of distracting. Yeah. But in any case, today I have a little proof of concept for you that's really not a new concept. Um, Sethling himself has actually talked about something very similar. But you know what? That's how it's going to go. Now, today we're going to be talking about red one high redstone. And you might be saying, well, redstone is already one high, right? This looks one high. Well, if we break the block below the redstone, it doesn't work. It doesn't get from one place to the other. And since it needs that block under it, unfortunately, you have to call it too high. But, of course, if we were to get out some sticky pistons and put redstone blocks on them, now we can get power from a lever right to anything we wanted, break all the blocks under it, and it would work beautifully. So, it's one high. For real. Now, I've made some of these one high circuits into actual circuits. I have eight things to showcase. And yeah, let's just get started. So first of all, here is wire. And if we flick it, then as you can see, our lamp back there will turn on. Flick it off, and our lamp will turn off. Now, this is instant turning off, but turning on, it's insanely slow. Just this tiny wire takes almost a whole second to get from the lever to this lamp. And that's no good. So I've come up with a faster wire here that's too wide. Which is just okay, but you know what? So when we turn this on, our lamp back there will turn off much faster. And for a longer distance, too. And if we turn it on, then the lamp turns back on. Now, this is inverted, so if you don't like that, too bad. In any case, I'm not going to be doing tutorials for these, you're just going to have to screenshot it or whatever. Very simple. So next, we need some logic, like OR gates and NOT gates, because if we can do both of those, well, we have instant computers. But here we have an OR gate, it's 5x3 and very compact. We turn on one lever, turns on, and your output would be right here as well, with this lamp. Turn on one, the lamp turns on. Turn on the other, the lamp turns on. Turn on both, the lamp still turns on. Now for NOT gate, it's 2 by 4 It's this, it's this simple. This is four ticks it's turning off and one tick turning on. So you just put your lamp there. As you can see, instant turning off and four ticks turning on. Not great, but, you know, there's your inverter. Now over here, we have an AND gate. Now this is actually more of a NAND gate because it's inverted, but you know what? If you wanted to change it to an AND gate, you could easily just stick another piston here, and this could be your output. So, if we turn on one, nothing happens. If we turn on both, the output turns on. Now this is actually very fast for what it does. And with only the main part, it's only 3x4. With this added, it's a bit larger, but that's not a problem. Now, that's logic, so you can make most things with that. You can make calculators. But if you want to make a computer, you have to have memory. And for that reason, I have come up with this. Now, here we have an RS Norlatch, and this is by a person called Redstone Miku. And she used to upload Redstone videos a good eight months ago, and, well, now she appears to not do so anymore. This is only 2 by 3 though, and is the smallest RS Norlatch possible. So, if we turn on set, as you can see, the output enables. Turn on reset, and the output disables. It's that simple. Now, over here, we get to the big stuff. This is a more complex type of memory called a D-latch. Basically, whenever we turn on this lever, the output in there will become the same as this lever. So right now, if we were to flick it, nothing happens. But if we were to turn this on, then we could just use this lever to save that into the memory. As you can see, our output turned on. Turn this off, and turn this on again, and saves to zero. So that's simple enough. Now, if you're making an adder, I decide to make two other kind of larger things here. If you're making an adder, this is super useful. This is an XOR gate, and it is 9 by 15, which is pretty big. I know for a fact it can be made smaller, but I just kind of threw this together. If we turn on one input, our output out there turns on. And if we turn on both, it turns right back off. So that's kind of what an XOR does. If one input is on, then the output will be on. If there's two inputs on, the output will be off. Very simple. 
But some of you, I know, are actually not into things like this. You're into, like, piston doors, trap doors, double piston extenders, all that. So I've made those of you who are like that a double piston extender. And as you can see, I didn't actually count the size for this. I just made it. But it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So it's 11 by 10. Still pretty big, but you know what? Oh, well. So now, if we turn this on, we will double extend like that. And if we turn it off, um, it will fully double retract. And there you go, peeps. That is my proof of concept that you can do absolutely anything in only one block of height and using only pistons and redstone blocks. I think this contraption is pretty cool. It's been going around the ore server for a while now. People have actually made entire adders and stuff out of just this one high stuff. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, if you enjoyed it, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe if that is your thing. But it also, as always, well, bye now.